Hey, we got you back. Well, how many seconds? 30. Okay. 15. Okay. And we are back here, folks, on CUTV with an exciting PSAC matchup here as the Golden Eagles take on the Bald Eagles of Lock Haven in the penultimate battle of the season and the, of course, battle of the Eagles. And Jason Croft is alongside me, Mike Friend, here as we get ready to start our second half as the, excuse me, the Bald Eagles lead 2-0 on two shots, I mean, beautiful shots, Jason, for Lockhaven. Bad defense, but, you know, for uh, clearing on both those shots. But, again, some beautiful shots here for the – and you take a look here, On we are on senior night. And clearing has got four seniors. They have Jordan Barr, Alyssa Katz, Megan Lawson, and Mackenzie Silver. All four girls got the start tonight, as Coach Eaton does, keeping with his tradition. Barr uh, really has been playing hard on that defensive line, as has Lawson, Stover, and Katz uh, really in the forward, you know, Katz in the midfield, Stover the forward position, really have been trying to lead this team by example and, you know, vocally here on this team here as we get ready to start here. they We've got about 30 seconds till the referees blow the whistle, and they are getting ready to, as both teams huddle up there, and... Lockhaven's getting into the last minute running warm-ups here as it has dipped below 40 degrees here tonight in Clarion. It is a chilly one. I know everybody's trying to stay warm here on our crew, and we thank everyone for sticking with us here in the second half here of this game here as both teams get ready to go. Yeah, hopefully a Clarion can come out here in the second half and start playing uh, more offensively, Mike. Um, the team has been struggling offensively and defensively. Um, like you said, those shots were nice. The two goals by Lockhaven, one of them was a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Laura Sossel really had nowhere to go, just fooled her uh, on the one-on-one -on -one situation. The other one was a very nice shot that went over her head. Um, it's just nothing she could do about it. She couldn't reach to the top of where the ball ended up, and it, it was beautiful just glided in hit the back of the net it's a gorgeous shot nothing you can do there if you're clarion but that second goal that could be the one that uh, ends up killing clarion's chances tonight if say clarion does come out and and does get one up on the board and then they'll be down two to one and taking the field in the second half coach Eaton with some substitutions coming here uh taking the field we had he has liz ventura also has Taylor Irick, who doesn't get a ton of playing time here, coming out as well as Kathleen Warner, Meg Lawson, and Alexa Ream coming out, as well as Stephanie Spencer, Aubrey Monty, and then uh, taking a look, she's also got Tears of Blackstone, that is Nikita Bonnell, and Jordan Barr, and on the far sideline there, looks to be Alyssa Katz. So, Couple of changes here for Coach Eaton as he heads heads into half. Excuse me, on the far sideline. Yeah, is indeed uh, Cats. So, and Lockheed looks as though they are staying with their lineup they had heading into the half with Miller and Rogers, Myers, Morrow, Kubat, Rolf McGranahan is still on the bench here, uh, but uh, <clears throat> Biondi and Jamie Hunter and Taylor Ludlam. Starting and then both starting goalies still in that Sossel for the Golden Eagles and for Lock Haven, Dana Wozniak. Last and, game of the year, Mike. So last half of the year for uh, Clarion here. So again, these seniors, hopefully, you know, they've had a great careers here at Clarion, but hopefully they do go out there and just have some fun, like you said, mm -hmm. in the uh, opening keys of the game. And definitely, and, you know, to avoid the old cliche here, you know, last game of the season, they can't hold anything back at this point. I mean, obviously, you don't want to get injured here. As the rain has seemed to stop here at Memorial Stadium, it's been kind of misting most of the night. It looks as though it's just spitting a little bit there as Clarion drives in and broken up there by the Lock Haven defense. And the way they got to look at this, uh, the second half, this last 45, is, you know, you got nothing to lose here. You're down 2 nothing. You just got to go out there, have some fun, get some shots on goals, maybe climb back into this, and get yourself out of the hole. That, that's exactly it. They got to pick themselves up by their bootstraps and just keep chugging along here. And we will have clearing possession there, and Jordan Barr throws it in 
after the ball went off the foot of a Lockhaven player. And Barr with throw in here again, one of the seniors on this team, you know, one of the leaders here has been, you know, for the longest time, play, usually playing midfield this season, has been moved back, especially the second part of the season, moved back to the fence as a shot there, just ahead of Blackstone off the foot. And ball gets loose. Blackstone shoots and she scores! The ball gets past Dana Wozniak there. She tried to kept drive it in and tears of Blackstone not giving up. She shoots. She had a wide open net. If she would have missed it, she would have quit the team, Jason. And a beautiful shot. Taking a look Man. at that replay. Wozniak backing up. The ball goes right she through her hands it. and misplayed it and a little chip shot. Easy goal there for tears of Blackstone as she gets the clearing right back into the game here about two minutes into the half. A beautiful, beautiful shot by tears of Blackstone and great job never giving up here. As we said, clearing got to take advantage of opportunities and a wet ball might got passed there as the ball gets to Hunter. Jamie Hunter driving in, trying to look for somebody to pass to. She finds the foot of that was Madison Taylor, and the ball goes out, and they will have a throw in here for Clarion. But going back to the Black, Blackstone goal there, Jason, I mean, beautiful job. And as we talked about in the keys of the game, top of the broadcast, they had to take advantage of their opportunities. Okay, the ball's wet. Clarion's always wet. These players are used to that. Lockhaven, maybe not so much. And Wazang misplayed. That ball went right through her legs, and Blackstone said, hey, you know what? Look what I found. Wide and open. even, and, you know, takes this, you know, cuts the lead in half for Lockhaven here as Lockhaven playing the defense. Again, that, that ball isn't even really a shot on goal, and it, and it just gets by the, uh, the goalkeeper here. Um, and it just left Blackstone a wide open net for her third goal of the year. Uh, that would be her six point, uh, three goals, zero assists, six total points now in the season for Blackstone. And, you know, it's good to see Clarion come out real early in this second half. Um, they're not even five minutes mm -hmm. in. And, you know, they got that goal. Maybe this can help get them uh, a little pumped up now for, this, for the remaining uh, 42 minutes we have left in this game. And hopefully we can see them come back again, scratch their way back and grab another goal here. And played there by Kathleen Warner as the ball picked up there. And Monty playing very def very aggressively. Aubrey Monty, one of the really one of the dominant freshmen on this team, along with Alyssa Spencer on that back line there. Spencer heads it. And really, she's not afraid of anybody. She'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you know anybody here as driving in. That is Madison Taylor. Madison Taylor tries to get by Kathleen Warner and broken up by Meg Lawson and kind of pooched up there by uh, Kathleen Warner as she takes down Monty. And again, Monty playing a very... So Alyssa Spencer clears it out and just cleared out to the outside area by Meg Lawson there. Meg Lawson doing what she, You know, just breaking up the play, you know, hoping for the throw and, and driven in there. And <laughs> by that was Morrow. And uh, look at this, uh, the clearing defender wanted to get a hand on that and said, yeah. oh, I can't touch that. Yeah, don't touch that in the box. It'll be a penalty kick. And Sasso clears it out here. And again, Tears of Blackstone looking, trying to look something up. Driving in, there she had, and Blockhaven will take possession, but driving in Blackstone and Liz Ventura. Liz Ventura, the, again, another threat on this team there. Aubrey Monty doing a great job there of taking the ball off the foot of Haley Myers. Myers jump for it. Tears of calling for the ball. Tears of giving chase. She got a, she got a chance. She takes a shot. She slides, and the ball goes out there. Beautiful opportunity there by Tears of Blackstone as she called for the ball and just started streaking down that sideline there. And we will we'll have the first corner kick of the game for Clarion. Taking that for Clarion again will be Nikita Bonnell. And she just dumps it short to Aubrey Monty. Monty dumps it for Spencer. Spencer thought, thought about it. And Monty, and the ball goes out and she saves it in. And a shot there. Bonnell almost had it. Cleared out, Ventura, Ventura looking for somebody to pass to. And the shot just goes wide of Bonnell. Bonnell had it there, and Monty really just had the ball. It took a weird spin when it hit her foot, and she saved it and really had to dump it in. Almost kind of killed the chance for Clarion, but we will have a goal kick here, and really not so nice opportunity for Clarion there, keeping the ball in off the goal, uh, or excuse me, off that corner. And you can see the uh, energy level of Clarion has gone up um, since that first goal that they scored here early in this second half. Um, Scores two to one. They're they're right back in this game, um, and that was their first corner, as you said, Mike. Um, and they've been out cornered, I guess, six to one now. Um, so it's good to see Clarion uh, going out there. And now, right now, you see them playing more in their offensive zone than they have in the 
first half at this point so far, it looks like Coach Eaton has uh, applied pressure now to the Lock Haven's defense. And really, with those defensive changes, that's what you know doing there is the ball chased down in there deep. Blossom giving chase. Ream takes over the chase there of Miller. Ream and Miller looking for somebody to pass to. Finds. Excuse me, didn't see who that was there. And going down on the play there, that was Madison Taylor. She kind of ran into Aubrey Monte. A little slow to get back up there. Yeah, they called the advantage on that play. Um, since Lockhaven still had possession of the ball there, they just allowed mm. the play to continue on, Mike. And with that, again, Aubrey Monte showing what a st excuse me, stiff defender she can be and really, you know, looks to be for the team heading into the future here as, you know, with really loss and leaving, you know, there's going to be a hole in that back line for, you know, people to come on field. And Monte getting a lot of playing time this year, you know, might be able to be that player to step up when Casey Harsh comes back from the ACL injury, which she sustained last week at Bloomsburg. So clearing without her services. And as we saw in the corner kick there, Nikita Bonnell taking it instead of Casey Harsh, who has really been able to bend it for clearing several times this year on the corner kicks and set up some beautiful goals. And the ball bounces right over tears of Blackstone. And a misjudge of but Monty drives it back in. Ventura drives the ball in. Bonnell, Bonnell's driving in, looking for someone. And that time the ball is held by Wozniak. And Jason, you saw that ball bounce right to her. She, she held it close like it was her favorite stuffed animal right there as she, you know, make sure the ball didn't score away from her because she had Nikita Bonnell right in her kitchen. And ball taken by Lockhaven now. And misplayed again by Lockhaven. That was Kubat was trying to dump it back, and the ball just kind of settled. And Aubrey Monte there giving chase to um, Danielle Morrow as the ball will go out, and we will have a throw in for Lockhaven, I believe. Yes, they are singling Lockhaven here. So Lockhaven will throw it in about midfield. Now going back, Mike, to the um, the four seniors we were, were losing after this year, um, it's good to see, though, that I mean, it's only four. Um, Claren has a bright future coming up. Claren does them. have a bright future. They've really got a young team, and this year brought in a large freshman class. These freshmen really, as I've said it over and over, have made a difference here. Losing four seniors next year, really, Coach Eaton said, you know, this year was going to be their year, and, you know, it has been. If they win this game, they will have the most points they've ever had in conference play here in this game. And crossed in by Fisher looking for the head of that was Rhiannon Miller, and M Miller just kind of pops up a little bit, and we got a couple of players down there tying their shoes. Everybody's shoes must be coming loose, yeah. side effect of the rain, I suppose, as Sossel dumps it back in there for Clarion and finds the head of Kubat, who will try to set it up, but Clarion takes possession again, and Aubrey Monte has said her name a lot here in the first 10 minutes of this half, but she has played a stout, Stout defense midfield position there. And that's really where Coach Eaton has it right now is on in the midfield on the outside and has dropped uh, Kathleen Warner back into defensive into the defense where she is so accustomed to playing. Again, you see the uh, aggressiveness of this Clarion team has gone way up since that last goal has actually locked. And you Haven's see right there that. as Miller almost got by Lawson. Lawson, you know, she'll admit she's not the fastest player. And a beautiful punch out there by Laura Sossel. Ball going right for that upper 90 uh, in the corner. And Laura Sossel, you know, she, you know, really great punch out there. They will have a corner kick upcoming here. Will Lockhaven, but, you know, Meg Lawson really, you know, did a great job muscling her player off the ball and forcing Lockhaven to reset yet again. Yeah, that was a great shot by Lockhaven to even start, and that was going right for the corner. And then a wonderful save uh, for Laura Sossel to to keep that ball out of the net and uh, force a, a corner, um, one of the first, well, not first, but one of the best corners that Clarion has given up, a smart mm -hmm. corner, I should say, as opposed to just clearing it out behind uh, the net. Um, that was actually their seventh corner, corner for Lockhaven tonight. And first the, of the half. First of the half. And on the corner kick there, clearing the ball out was Cat. Or, yeah, excuse me, Kathleen Warner. They're in another bad play by Lex Ream. However, she just kind of body checks. That was Taylor off the ball again to break up 
any chance the offense would have had. And Nikita Bonnell showing why she's such a dangerous player. The ball just kind of rolling down there free. Lockhaven now boots it out, and Clarion will have the throw in. But she's giving chase the whole way, and Wozniak almost came out to play that and realized she had to stay in her box there because if Bonnell would have got foot on that, you know, bad things could have happened for the Bald Eagles. You see a foul was called there on Lockhaven, so Clarion's going to have a free kick from about the 20-yard line. It's what it's looking like. And this is interesting to see who's going to take the kick. It looks as though it will be Kathleen Warner, but you know, really right now, miss, Clarion missing the services of Casey Harsh, who, again, who went down with that ACL injury last week. So dangerous out there, and usually situations like this takes the free kick, and again, lining up it will indeed be Kathleen Warner. See, I'm looking for a, a play close towards the net, but don't shoot it right at the net. And it goes a little long there. Warner, again, you're saying playing towards the net. She had two defenders going to the back post there behind Wozniak, but just a little too much on that ball as it goes out. And not, not I'm not going to say a squandered opportunity there, but a missed opportunity, per se, for the Golden Eagles. Again, I think that ball would have been better off if he centered it kind of towards the goal and then just allowed heads to get on it because you never know what happens mm -hmm. in those on those set pieces um, where the ball can bounce off a of head. And, mis and misplayed there by Morrow, and Blackstone chases it all the way out there, and Lockhaven set, got Clarion to touch it last, so the ball will be thrown in by Clarion, but Monty playing a out defense again there in that midfield position as Claire, Jordan Barr dumps it back in and tries to set up something for Clarion here. Crossing shot there from Warner. And Warner doing a good job, Jason, settling the ball. And we've seen that being an issue for the Golden Eagles here earlier in the season was them settling the ball and setting up opportunities there. And Kathleen Warner did a great job there on that last possession for Clarion of settling the ball down as the ball dumped in there. That by uh, Lockhaven there, looking for the foot of Miller that was, uh, excuse me, Madison Taylor, but just couldn't find her there as Laura Sossel takes the ball and clears it harmlessly out about, or excuse me, harmlessly out for Clarion. Again, it's coming down to these battles at the midfield after Sossel clears them in some of the cases. Clarion actually won that one before this turnover here. Um, and it's good to see Clarion starting to win some of those battles at midfield, those um, headers going up mm -hmm. there. And we'll have a throw in here for Alyssa Spencer. And definitely, Jason, you know, that was the problem Clarion had last year was winning the headers. And the ball goes out. Clarion will have possession there as Bonnell touches it after it goes out. So Spencer just walking down the field, throwing it in again. You saw this is when they had one of their best opportunities last time was a throw in about 20 yards out there. And Spencer finds the head of Bonnell and cleared out again for another throw in by Lockhaven. And Lockhaven just trying to play keep away at this point for Clarion. And the ball dumped in there to Blackstone. And Blackstone clears it to Spencer. Spencer boots it across field. And Kathleen Warner having a hard time there clearing it out. And she finds Lux Room who dumps it from about midfield off the defender. And Bonnell giving chase there off the defender. I think they're trying to obviously get it the other way there. And popped it right up. And Wozniak had to come in and settle that ball down and clear it out now. Yeah, if that was hit a little bit harder off the defenseman, that could have ended up over the goalkeeper's head in that situation. And a clearing you will take anything in this point, even a known goal uh, on, you know, the lock <laughs> from Lockhaven here as clearing, again, pl playing aggressively, you know, dumping the ball in. And you see, you know, just some of these changes where, you know, Monty's moved off the def the back line up into the midfield. And really it's proven valuable for Coach Ian as she wins another header there. We have a whistle and a foul as Jamie Hunter just absolutely gave a little forearm shiver there to Monty. She went up for the header, and we will have a throw in here. Er, no, we will have a free kick, excuse me, off the foul. And taking that will be Cat Warner here on the just about 35 yards out, 36 yards out here. As she takes it, she dumps it in right into the heart of that line there for Clarion and Lockhaven, able to clear it out there and trying to catch Clarion off guard. But Alexa Ream playing aggressively there as she had Alyssa Spencer coming back and covering and sets it up there, bouncing around, bouncing around off the heads of everybody in sight there until Lockhaven's finally able to settle it down there. And that is, excuse me, that was uh, Taylor Lundlum who 
It's able to set it down there and driving in. Fisher again working on Spencer and Ream able to just come in, clear it out, and you know, have reset there as Myers will drive it in. It's looking for the foot <coughs> of Miller, but Clarion able to clear it out here. And Clarion with another bad turnover here as possession. And McGrinahan's getting ready to come back in the game. Aaron McGrinahan for Lockhaven has one of the two goals tonight for the Bald Eagles there. And she had the one that just kind of curved beautifully over, you know, Laura Sossel there. So another scoring threat getting ready to come back in the game for Lockhaven at the next stoppage. And Clarion with a good opportunity there. Giving chase to it is Nikita Bonnell. She muscled off the ball by Morrow and giving chase to it as it just harmlessly rolls out. Clarion will take possession and they'll get another corner kick here. Their second of the game's only second of the game as opposed to eight now for Lockhaven and Taking that corner, or they will call it a throw, and I thought they signaled corner. And we will clear it out there by Clarion, and it went off the head of Bonnell, and we will have a change of possession here as Clarion gets ready to take the goal kick. And Jason, you, we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, taking the goal kick now is Wozniak as opposed to, you know, one of the defenders coming back. But you see Clarion really playing aggressively here on the team as we have a stoppage there. McGrinahan comes back in. Coming out of the game is Claire, or excuse Hunter, me, I think. is that is Hunter's, that is Hunter coming out, and she's going straight, it looks like, to the locker room, and, you know, looks to be injured, or no, she's just grabbing her jacket. I thought she's heading to the locker room, <laughs> which Hunter is locking a soft score, so one scoring threat out. You know, Hunter hasn't proved, you know, hasn't done anything to Clarion tonight. But again, their top scoring threat with 13 points on the season out. But again, the person who scored the goal, Anya, is back in the game now. So really is some zero game now for Clarion. And her 13 uh, points are almost doubled than any of the other Clarion players. The highest Clarion has are Mackenzie Stover and Casey Harsh at both seven points each on this season. And that's definitely one thing, Jason, that we have to look at, you know, Who's going to step up and be that next scoring threat? We saw Tears of Blackstone, and really, you know, Tears of Blackstone got off to a really hot start this year, kind of mellowed out around the middle of the season, scoring a first goal in her first game ever here on a, on a similar breakaway, and a shot there. Bonnell tries to get it and just tried to get it to herself, but couldn't, and there settled down nicely by Alyssa Spencer. She drives it back in, and Wozniak will take it, take it again, and that time storming in was... <clears throat> excuse me, Blackstone hoping again for another misplay by Wozniak, but Lockhaven will take possession. Those those soccer balls coming at Wozniak must look like hockey pucks right now after giving up her the one goal that she did at this point. She's got to be really careful. She seems like she's being more careful with those uh, pop-ups that should be simple saves. And really not being aggressive as she was earlier in the first half, and Clarion was struggling to get anything going. But now her her team, that is the Bald Eagles of Lockheed, trying to get something going here. And, you know, really haven't played much of this game in their own end. As I say that, the ball's dumped down in there by Madison Taylor. Giving chase to it is Rihanna Miller. Rihanna Miller trying it, and she shoots for Jordan Barr. She was looking for McGrenahan as she tried to shoot Jordan Barr Forrester to come to the middle for McGrenahan. And the ball cleared back out by Clarion. <clears throat> Bouncing around here taken by Lock Haven's Haley Kubat. And driven in. It, it, and it's looking, uh, Mike, like, you know, like I said, now you're reaching 25 minutes left in this <coughs> in this game. Um, again, they're down 2-1, to one, and that, that second goal they've given up, Mike, that could, again, that could come back and, and bite them. And definitely. You know, you figure if, you know, Lix Reem's able to clear that ball out at the time, you know, the ball, and then uh, that was, uh, excuse me, Miller coming in and really wouldn't be able to get the ball out or wouldn't be able to drive the ball one-on-one -on, -one on Laura Sossel and score that second goal here. But Clarion takes possession. They're looking to set something up. They almost had something there. The ball just kind of bounced awkwardly as we're seeing several awkward bounces on this wet turf. And a great job by Arvin Monty set up Nikita Ball now. Monty just had the ball, finds Liz Ventura, just a little strong for as Ventura is working against Harley Rolf, and Ventura finds it and just goes off the foot of Cat Warner, and Cat Warner is looking for maybe a little softer pass there and try to 
do a little give and go with Spencer, or excuse me, with uh, Ventura. Unfortunately, uh, the ball goes out for the Golden Eagles. And, but off the throw in, ball bouncing around. They will get the possession back from Lockhaven here as Jordan Barr throws it in. And the ball just absolutely belted out of bounds, almost <laughs> hit the ball holder on the other side there by of Lock, or for Lockhaven there. But we'll have another throw in. And taking this one will be Jordan Barr again. And Barr throws it in, finds the foot of Spencer. Spencer crosses it in, finds Bonnell, but Bonnell is just surrounded by Bald Eagles. She sets up, she's got Aubrey Monty. Aubrey Monty takes a shot and what a save. Wozniak just gets a hand on it, shoots it up over the top of the goalpost. But that was a beautiful play there from Blackstone to, uh, excuse me, to Bonnell to Monty. That was just a really good series of plays. Aubrey Monty tried to go high. She thought she had Wozniak stuck to that far post. As And we have a corner kick here as Bonnell just tried to dump it in there. And we got a shot, and Liz Ventura just tried to get a shot, got around, and cleared out by the Golden Eagles. And Wozniak again falling on the ball, almost like Jason. You see a hockey goalie do trying to freeze the puck, covering it, because really, no, don't the last time she didn't fall on the ball or really just settle it down uh, she you know gave up that goal to Blackstone so you're seeing a little more hesitation and uh, really caution for clearing and clearing looking to try to get numbers here as they drive down and a great play there by Kubat to set stop clearing from trying to set up anything on a perhaps numbers game there and going back to that save by Wozniak that uh, got it right over the bar that was a very very nice shot and nice save by both teams in that situation. Um, Clarion got it on net in that, that situation. Again, it, the, the ball may be a little less uh, slippery than it was in the first half, but again, it's still a little damp out there. So, again, you just want to get shots on goals and, you know, anything can happen. And ball tied up kind of players there. Monty and that was, uh, excuse me, Samantha Biondi getting tied up there. And again, Biondi and Monty is one of these matchups all night with it's been exciting to watch. They've both been, you know, giving it to the other player just a little bit. And, you know, exciting to see here as we creep inside 22 and a half minutes left in this half here on CUTV. We're at Memorial Stadium as Clarion takes on. And a shot there goes right to Laura Sossel. That was off the foot of Madison Taylor as Laura Sossel keeps the game at 2-1 here. Mike Friend, Jason Croft beside me here calling this game the final game for Clarion at home this season and also senior night here. And the seniors, Jason, really stepping up big. You know, four seniors for Clarion, Meg Loss and Jordan Barr in the back, you know, on that back line. Then you know, not, not in the game right now, but uh, Mackenzie Stover played big when she was in the game and played their tough battle there between Jordan Barr and... Rhiannon Miller, and that's been an exciting battle all night as well. And then also a senior for Clarion. Alyssa Katz, again, started the game, played very effectively in that midfield. But Coach Eaton just going, playing you know, some strategy here, going with a different look and getting ready to come into the game for Clarion is Molly Schultz and the ball taken by Laura Sossel. And that was a dangerous play there. She had, be, streaking in behind her, she had Samantha Biondi and really, a dangerous play there by Sosso, but Sosso keeps it and boots it back out, and Ventura will take possession here. Or no, Lockheed will take possession. Ventura just kind of nonchalantly jogging after the ball there, and too far past Biondi again there, and the ball will go out. Clarion will have a throw and stoppage in play here, and substitution coming into the game for Clarion. That is number 24, Molly Schultz. Molly Schultz coming into the game and substituting out is Liz Ventura. So Ventura getting a little bit of a break here after she started the half and Coach Eden going with Molly Schultz instead. And the ball goes out off Clarion Lockheed and we'll have possession here. Throw in right in front of their own bench. Throwing that in will be Morrow. Now it's going to be uh, interesting to see now as we reach uh, almost a 20 minute mark in this uh remaining in this game, um, how the teams adjust to the... And it, Tears of Blackstone almost took the ball right off the foot of Rolf. Rolf misplayed the ball terribly there and recovers, though, and Clarion will take possession as Schultz takes the ball and just dumps it back to Jordan Barr, who dumps it looking for... Uh, that was Blackstone, but 
really just some anybody she was looking to try to dump it into there and we'll have a throw in on that far corner area for Lock Haven. Now uh, what I was going to say um, before that play actually occurred was um, uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how these teams adjust to the time uh, left on the clock. Uh, whether or not you see uh, Lock Haven playing more defensive style dropping back uh, or Claren pushing up more or and maybe Lock Haven trying and Spencer to Spencer takes a shot and it bounces right in to Wozniak and Jason you saw something right there this is Spencer taking a shot from about 25 yards out you really don't see her doing that all that much really preferring to play the ball in and maybe take a shot from a little bit closer but you know again can't hold anything back now here coming in as Schultz and that is Rhiannon Brady again or Rhiannon Miller excuse me Rhiannon Brady the uh, volleyball player for Clarion last season uh, getting names mixed up but Miller battling on the far sideline there with Molly Schultz and Molly Schultz again not no slouch when it comes to defense here for Clarion as Sasa will take the ball now the only thing dangerous I could see happening is uh, Lockhaven dropping back Clarion getting good shots and then all of a sudden you got Lockhaven on a two-on-one counter or something similar to that because um, counterplay is going to really help Lockhaven towards the end of this um, second half and really, we've seen that hurt Clarion before them, really enough. You know, an offensive rush forward, and then we'll ball go out. Or Lockhaven will take possession. There's a list of Spencer got tripped up on the ball. But no, we've seen this before. You know, Clarion really playing aggressively towards their own offensive zone, and then the other team getting numbers on them. It's happened a couple of times as the ball bounces out there. Nikita Bonnell thought it was going to get past the Lockhaven defense, but we'll have just another throw in here for Lockhaven. And ball goes up, headed one, and again, Clarion really in this half has got a lot of headers, and they've won them. Missing one there was Monty, but Monty with a shot, she's got, and cleared out there by that was 21 Taylor Ludlam there. She's she collided with Aubrey Monty there, and a grabbing her knee now. Looks like she might have hyperextended it there a little bit. And substitution coming into the game now. Stephanie Sakura coming back into the game. And Aubrey Monty getting a break there. A well-deserved break there as hard as she's played in the half. And looks as though Ludlam's still kind of grabbing her knee a little bit. Fixing her shin guards or in her socks. They're trying to figure out something there. As we got on the other end of the field, that is Miller. Miller driving in and cleared off. And Alyssa Spencer Tried to clear it out, bounced it right off Miller, and Laura Sossel had to dive and punch that ball away. And really could have ended badly there for Clarion. And as Miller loses it and the ball dribbles out towards excuse me, midfield, and Jordan Barr driving in and trying to clear it out there, working with Schultz there to double team. And the shot there by Laura Sossel. Laura Sossel having to scramble, dive on the ball as she took the ball. It, bounce off her two well a nice save and then a nice recovery to cut down that rebound there by Laura Sossel off the shot from Haley Kubat again Kubat a midfielder just kind of drove the ball in there on that trying to hope to get a lucky bounce or something or find a find a friendly foot here as Lock Haven will maintain possession and Clarion now seems to be on their heels a little bit here as driving is McGranahan looking for somebody to and Spencer misplays that one and another great save by Laura Sossel as that one was off the foot of Samantha Biondi. And that time charging in after that was McGranahan. And Laura Sossel with another great save. The ball rebound again and able to get right back up and secure the rebound there as Clarion will take possession. The foot goes off Bonnell and Lockhaven dumping it in looking for somebody to go to. And bad clear there by Barr, as that is Miller driving in again against Barr. And again, Lawson coming over to help. Schultz now dropping back, playing against Rhiannon Miller here as she drops it back. And the ball just skied up in the air, looking for a cross there. And the ball will go out. Seth Sakura battling there against Biondi there. And we will have a throw in for Lockhaven. We're coming up on the last third of the half, Mike. 15 minutes remaining. A, a nice uh, catch there by uh, Laura Sasso on that uh, shot. And, and you see, uh, you know, some there, Jason, that she was kind of echoing a center fielder there, really calling off her defense, saying, I got it, I got it, this is my ball, and then cradles it and able to clear it out here 
as Clarion takes possession. Steph Sakura really battling here against Biondi, and that's been an exciting matchup when Biondi and Sakura have both been in the game here for their respective teams here, and the ball cleared out. Spencer looking to set it up for somebody. Just kind of clears it down into nobody. She had uh, Blackstone and Bonnell in the area, but nobody in the area. And we have a whistle, and we have a free kick upcoming for Clarion. As that was T Madison Taylor end up on our face, but the foul is on Taylor. So taking the free kick this time for Clarion, Kathleen Warner. And getting ready to set up here. Clarion trying to figure out what they want to set up offensively here. And Warner drives it in. Beautiful leg there. And a head off Bonnell. She and the ball. Played it. And she misplayed it. Wozniak misplays the ball off the head of Bonnell. Nikita Bonnell proving why she's such an effective player here. Wozniak, the second ball, she's let go through her legs tonight, Jason. And this game is tied with 14.04 left in the second half. Nikita Bonnell took the free kick from Kathleen Warner and just got ahead on it, changed the direction just a little bit, and Dana Wozniak not able to keep it in her hands, and it goes right through her legs, and it's echoes of what happened when Tears of Blackstone had that little chip-in shot there to start the half. So, goals about half an hour apart, game time, but still, when you're looking at it, Two points or two points, and this game is tied here, folks. Mike Friend, Jason Croft with you on CUTV. We've got an even more exciting game right now as the score is tied 2-2 off a header by Nikita Bonnell. Went through the goalie's legs. I mean, you talk about going five-hole in hockey. Nikita Bonnell went five-hole on Dana Wozniak right there as Lockhaven looks to take possession there, and Sakura will chase it and try to clear it out there as she does in or tries to at least, and she finds Daniel Murrow, who sells it down, crossed in there by, that was Samantha Biondi, and you see Laura Sossel after that ball misplayed there by Wozniak, and again playing cautiously, and when the ball comes to her, securing it, yes. and really just set, settling the ball down and telling her defense, guys, just, just stay calm, you know, let's play, let's, you know, let's play for the tie and go for the win. Yeah, and uh, Wozniak's uh, really beating herself up over there in the uh, opponent's uh, goal area right and now. She, she just she made two huge mistakes, both leading to two Clarion goals. And Clarion, again, they're having fun now out there and keeping they, the game. They're having they fun. They definitely are having fun. And, you know, the changes at halftime for Coach Eaton really paying off. And if you're Clarion, you got to wonder, have you finally broken in to Dana Wozniak's mind. If you get down there and surround her and really just start, you know, being vocal, can you get that third, you know, the third and the put away goal here? Uh, really, as they try to step up there and thinking that was Tears of Blackstone. But Jason, going back to that goal, that's the importance of the free kicks. And as we talked about at the top of the broadcast, Clarion had to capitalize on their opportunities. A bad play by the Lock Haven defense. And you see Wadniak still really beating herself up over there, talking to herself. And really, you know, Tears of Blackstone playing hard, playing aggressive. Chip shot, you know, got that beautiful goal. And then the free kick, Kathleen Warner put it ex knew exactly where she needed to put it. And Nikita Wadniak timed it perfectly to really get the, get her head on it. And she was faced, you know, she had her back to the goal when she headed it. So she just kind of thrust her head backwards on that goal. So, and she, when it, the ball went in, she looked as surprised as anybody there on the field. But two, you know, goals and good, you know, seizing the opportunity there, miscommunication by the Clarion defense. And Bonnell driving in. She's got Sakura shooting down. Sakura looking to shoot. Sakura driving. She's working on the Lockhaven defense. And Lockhaven doing a great job of forcing the ball out off Sakura's foot there. And Lockhaven will throw it out. Steph Sakura did a great job getting down there, but she just kind of got bottled up in that corner, Jason, and didn't have anywhere to go because the Clarion had to stay back on defense because there were too many forwards upfield for uh, Clarion's comfort. And the ball will go out, and Clarion will lose possession there. We will have a goal kick by Wozniak. I believe they called that <laughs> offsides, actually, on Clarion on that uh, play. And... They indeed did, so we will have a goal kick by Wozniak. But you see Jason Clarion not staying as far back as they had. Home for a good bounce, and Alyssa Spencer there takes it off the thigh. It roll, will roll out of bounds there. The ball just kind of died. Spencer going for the header there, but the ball just kind of died in front of her. And Lockheed will take possession off the throw-in. And, and now, as, as we were talking about earlier in the first half, 
And uh, Spencer drives it in. And Wozniak there catching it, holding on to it, talking to the ball, say, and really saying, you are my friend, not my enemy. Why are you treating me this way? And we will have a whistle on the field here. We have an injury on the field and a foul, I believe they're calling on Clary, and they indeed are. But Wozniak there, you saw Jason, held the ball, yeah. brought it up to her chest, and just settled the ball down and let Clarion back off. Right, right. And um, as we were saying in the first half, um, fatigue, and now that the game is tied at two with ten minutes left in the in regulation, uh, how is fatigue going to uh, come into factor with these two teams now with our last ten minutes? And the ball just kind of sails over everybody there. Laura Sauce picks it up, and it's an excellent point you bring up. We talked about it in the top of the broadcast here. Lock Haven is, has been outscored 21 to 10 in the second half of their games this season. So when you're being outscored by almost double, I mean they've been outscored by double already in this. You know they their goals came in the first half, which was where Clarion struggles uh, in the goal scoring department in the deficit of there. And Nikita Bonnell with a beautiful play there to um, to block this pass there and trying to clear it out for Lock Haven. And really, you're seeing a renewed energy here as Kathleen Warner battling, <clears throat> excuse me, against Madison Taylor there. And we have two players crossing in. And the ball just kind of dies there as that was Taylor Ludlam, or excuse me, no, excuse me, uh, McGranahan driving in. And the ball just kind of died between a couple of players there. And Jason, you see the rain has started to fall again. It's just more of a mist. Wouldn't be surprised if there was some snow mixed in at this point. And the shot goes way wide. And you see a Lockhaven player down at about the <clears throat> six-yard line looks injured there. And Could not tell who that is. And it looks to be Aaron McGrenahan here as we do have a whistle and they are calling the medical staff over. Looks as though I can't tell if she went down weird because she slid. I mean, she's and it, she looks to be in a considerable amount of pain here as uh, the medical staff attends to her. But Jason, we're at 8:32 left in the game here, and really, if McGrenahan is out, you know that that really could hurt Lockham here because she has been one of their goal-scoring threats in this game. That would be a huge loss to Lockham if she is uh, out. Hopefully, for her and her team, that she can. She'll just be coming out for a couple minutes, um, but I don't know. This this does look like a more more serious of an injury. She's been out there. She's been laying on the ground. Uh, it looks like she's been moving her um, what is that? Her right leg up and mm -hmm. down a few times. But uh, now there she go there. She finally moves her left leg a little bit. So it looks yeah. like she's gonna get some help walking off uh, with the trainers here. You wonder if she almost just got the wind knocked out over there in that. But uh, see, they're brushing the. Uh, dirt off her face there and you know on this field and she's smiling she's, she's, she's smiling she comes yeah. off the field and you wonder if she just got the wind knocked out of there because I mean she was really battling down there in front of that goal but uh, talking about the dirt on the field here the artificial surf she got those little rubber pellets and <laughs> you know as well as I do they stick to you if you yeah, think about turns. them they stick to you yeah. turf turds are no they're no fun so and so once McGrenahan hand comes off the field here we you know she looks to be doing okay she's smiling Looks like the wind knocked out of her, and coming into the game is Taylor Ludlam back into the game here for Clarion, <clears throat> or excuse me, for I, Lock. Uh, actually, I might have made a mistake there. And two, four. Actually, yeah. they have ten. They are playing down a man right now with the injury. Uh, so Clarion with a numbers advantage right now as Sakura battling there with... <coughs> Excuse me, that was Biondi again, and Steph Sikora and uh, Samantha Biondi all night have been battling here. And coming in, they're throwing the game here. Th excuse me, throwing the ball in here was Alyssa Spencer. Clarion will take possession. Yeah, you know, I made you know I made a mistake thinking I made a mistake. Cause, you they know, do I, have 11. They, they do have 11. I didn't count the keeper. <laughs> and <laughs> anyhow, Clarion and both teams playing at full strength then. So Clarion without the numbers. But here's a Blackstone giving chase out to play it is Wozniak. Wozniak there out on the edge of the goal box take, taking the ball, really. But Blackstone again, you know, probably coming at her. And Wozniak saying, oh, you know, oh dear. It's, you know, she's scored on me once on one of these. I got to really secure it here as the ball dribbles into Wozniak again as she looks to clear it out. And we're going to reach the remaining, we got like seven minutes left in the game almost. And mm -hmm. 
you know, it's going to be a tough battle. Who It's it's going to be a battle of which team wants it more at this point. I think, um, I mean, you'd have to believe that the next goal at this point is going to win. As um, And Nikita Bonnell got taken yeah. out. Looks like she got leg whipped there and looked to the official for the, and said, what, no call? But uh, battling there. And now and, she gets the foul. And she gets the foul. And kind of looking at the official there after the whistle, but, you know, you can't say too much, otherwise they'll give you a yellow card. And driving in here to the, the pass taken by Clarion and goes right by Blackstone there. Driven back in for the Bald Eagles was Morrow on that kick there. And Clarion, though, will take possession there. Dumping it in was Molly Schultz. Molly Schultz driving in looking for Blackstone. And it will be cleared out by Taylor Ludlam here for Lockhaven there and another excellent opportunity there by Tears of Blackstone showing off her speed and really getting by the Lockhaven defender there and we'll have a throw in here for Clarion. Looking into these lights, just this nice mist coming down upon us all here at uh, Memorial Stadium. Mm -hmm. And you know, Jason, we talked about earlier because the first half, about the first 30 minutes of the half here, it really didn't rain all that much. The uh, first half, it, misted like this pretty much the entire game and you know that's when you see some of the mistakes coming in you know balls taking wacky bounces because it's wet and you know bites to the turf differently and uh the keepers gloves get a little bit wet there too with the more saves they have to make and you know really is that going to be the difference in the goal will be the weather here and Bonnell goes down again and just pops right back up you know really playing a tough defense here as Lawson gets her foot on that, clears it out. Now Schultz driving it in, and Barr will take it here, and the rain's increasing a little bit, and the ball driving down, jumping down in, giving chase to that is Tears of Blackstone, and for the <coughs> Lockhaven, that, I believe that was Morrow chasing it back down in, but again, a really fierce battle given there by Tears of Blackstone, and she's trying really to get into the head of Dana Wozniak, the keeper for Lockhaven. I don't know about you, or the players, but I know I love the rain, Mike. Like this is to me, this is amazing out out here tonight. I mean, I'm sure the players right a little now bit warmer. aren't really liking it. A little bit warmer wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I, it I'll is, say it is that. a little chilly out, but a little chilly, but you know, definitely some exciting <laughs> game. You know, as we head inside, five minutes here left in the half, and Bonnell really taking taking and driving in, working against Morrow there. <clears throat> of Lockhaven and the ball still kept by Clarion and Molly Schultz just stepped over the ball. Again, we're seeing some weird things happen to the ball in this weather. The ball just kind of stuck right there in the field when Molly Schultz went to clear it down and cleared out there and Alyssa Spencer got a foot on it and Steph comes right to Steph Sikor and Sikor just boots it downfield and giving chase to it is Tears of Blackstone, and she's going to give Wozniak a run for her money there as Wozniak just kind of boots it out of bounds because she had Tears of Blackstone, and really her defense wasn't even there to uh, help defend the goal. That was a smart play there by the goalkeeper, just clearing it out. Uh, she didn't really have a choice. If she did try and clear it far in play, it might have bounced off of Clarion and may have led to another empty net chance. And we got a throw in there by Spencer. Shot there, and ball just goes way wide off the foot of, that was Taylor Eirich, who haven't heard her name too much here in the game, but uh, the ball just kind of stuck, and she looked, after she let go of that one, and looked at her, her uh, teammates and said, I shanked it. <laughs> and taking possession here is Hunter. She's back in the game. Jamie Hunter back in the game for the injured Aaron McGrenahan here for Lockhaven here. So, Jason, that was the substitution we didn't see she kind of snuck on the field on us here. But we will have a throw in here for Lockhaven as both teams kind of picked up the pace here a little bit there. Header won by Lockhaven. As we reach our uh, last three minutes here, I want to thank the fans for tuning in to uh, CU TV uh, to watch this game. Um, you know, without fans, we wouldn't have uh, our oh, broadcast. Oh, that's and definitely true. I want, to thank, I want to thank down below us our um, people behind us in the um, – working on graphics and stuff. Oh, definitely. Thank you, Mike, for being a part of my first broadcast here. Uh, first broadcast, you know, it's the turning of a new page here. Your first broadcast, my last. And that's, you know, that's one thing we want to bring up here is, you know, thank especially everybody here that's on camera today, standing out in the rain and the wind and all the 
cold weather here for us and the people down below because you know they may be under the stadium but it's equally cold and it's oh, it's yeah. dark down there that they've <laughs> got to contend with the darkness uh too but we're gonna you know all the seniors we have here at cutv this you know being my final broadcast you know i've been doing this for three years and it's been such a treasure to watch this team grow as you know they've moved forward and brought in some new players some really exciting players here you know and really, you know, see some really good games here and call some, re you know, some real stellar material here at Memorial Stadium. And tonight, tonight's game's been uh, pretty good as well. Um, tonight, I mean, we're tied 2-2, two to two, a nice comeback by Clarion so far. We might actually have overtime for the last game of the year. I will say the last time I saw Clarion score two goals was exactly one year ago here. I forget. I believe it was against Kutztown, and it was a 3-2 overtime victory as the ball dumped in there by Lockhaven. Still up to that is Madison Taylor. Madison Taylor just kind of driving, and Meg Lawson just lifts her foot enough that the ball goes sailing over and out. So we will have a goal kick here for Lockhaven. But you know, last time we saw Clarion score, two, that I've saw Clarion score two goals because their offense has struggled at times, was exactly about a year ago, and against Kutztown where they won 3-2 in overtime and. It looks as though we're going to come down to a result similar to that tonight. Jasons, we're inside a minute here. Score still tied 2-2 here in Clarion. And the ball just kind of missed by everybody headed. And Clarion clears it out there right now. And Biondi takes it right now. And Lockhaven trying to set up. And Jordan Barr just clears it out. Here's a Blackstone. Settles down, just boots it back, and has Lockhaven reset in their own defensive zone. And we're now reaching the last 30 seconds here. Uh, <coughs> Key right now is just don't let uh, Lockhaven get a nice shot. Yeah, just um, right keep now keep them out of the zone. Don't give up the well, cheap they, goal. Yeah, they have it in the zone. So, and this is what you don't want here. Just gotta clear off this last 20 uh, uh, offsides call there for Lockhaven. So it looks like we will in the next 14 seconds be having an overtime tonight, Mike. And it is the first. You know, Clarion very successful in the overtime here at Memorial Stadium. I forget the exact number, but you know. Really, they've only scored one goal in their last four games, all those games being losses as the clock runs out here at Memorial Stadium. And we have overtime here, folks. Mike Friend, Jason Croft alongside you here on CUTV. I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope you'll stick around. We've got more exciting games or more exciting matchups coming up here as we head into overtime. The score tied at two. Clarion scoring twice in the second half. And they... Overtime rules for those who don't know it here. Next goal wins for Clarion. They will we'll have a real quick five-minute break here. Uh, and we will sit, keep it right here with us here on CUTV. And, Jason, we've seen such an exciting game. And we are – and, you know, we'll take a real quick break here on CUTV. But we will be back, and we've got an exciting overtime. Next score wins it, or will Clarion – you know, Pulka come out with a tie here to end with the most points they've ever had in conference history. Folks, keep it right here on CUTV for overtime. 